Abramo Devati. Sir, suppose a man has thought of God at other times during his life, but at the time of his death forgets him. Would he, on that account, come back to this world of sorrow and suffering? Why should it be so? He certainly thought of God some time during his life. Master A man thinks of God, no doubt. But he has no faith in him. Again and again he forgets God and becomes attached to the world. It is like giving the elephant a bath. Afterwards, he covers his body with mud and dirt again. The mind is a mad elephant. But if you can make the elephant go into the stable immediately after bathing him, then he stays clean. Just so. If a man thinks of God in the hour of death, then his mind becomes pure and it gets no more opportunity to become attached to woman and gold. Man has no faith in God. That is the reason he suffers so much. They say that when you plunge into the holy waters of Ganges, your sins perch on a tree on the bank. No sooner do you come out of the water after the bath than the sins jump back on your shoulders. All laugh. A man must prepare the way beforehand so that he may think of God in the hour of death. The way lies through constant practice. If a man practices meditation on God, he will remember God even on the last day of his life. Brahmo Devati You have spoken very beautifully, sir. Beautiful words indeed. Master Oh, this is just idle talk. But do you know my inner feeling? I am the machine and God is the operator. I am the house and he is the indweller. I am the engine and he is the engineer. I am the chariot and he is the charioteer. I move as he moves me. I do as he makes me do. Presently, Troilokyo began to sing to the accompaniment of drums and cymbals. Sri Ramakrishna danced, intoxicated with divine love. Many times he went into Samadhi. He stood still, his eyes fixed, his face beaming. With one hand, on the shoulder of a beloved disciple. Coming down a little from the state of ecstasy, he danced again like a mad elephant. Regaining consciousness of the outer world, he improvised lines to the music. 
O mother, dance about thy devotees. Dance thyself and make them dance as well. O mother, dance in the lotus of my heart. Dance, O thou the ever-blessed Brahman. Dance in all thy world-bewitching beauty. An indescribable scene. The exquisite and celestial dance of a child completely filled with ecstatic love of God and identified heart and soul with the Divine Mother. The Brahmo devotees danced around the Master again and again, attracted like iron to a magnet. In ecstatic voices, they chanted the name of Brahman. Again, they chanted the name of the Divine Mother. Many of them wept like children, crying, Mother, Mother. When the music was over, the devotees and the master sat down. Although it was about eight o'clock, the evening worship of the Brahmo Shamaj had not yet begun. In the joy of this divine music, they had forgotten all about their formal worship. Bijoy, who was to conduct the evening service, sat facing the master. His mother-in-law and the other Brahmo ladies wanted to see Sri Ramakrishna. So, the master went to meet them in another room.